Coming to you live from Staples Center in Los Angeles, it's the Los Angeles Lakers and the Los Angeles Clippers. Hi, I'm Marv Alvin, along with the czar, Mike Fratello. Let's go courtside as they introduce tonight's and star. Red Fox. Starting at the other corner, Go Malone. Starting to go, Gary Payton. Starting at center, John The Lakers control the ball. Peyton with the ball. Yarrick with the pressure. Misses the two. He gets them the rebound. O'Neal comes up with the ball. He's demonstrated his quickness with that steal. Malone recovers the loose ball. Pulling up, jumper's good. Can't get it to drop from inside. Foxes soars for the rebound. Richardson with the foul. Bryant with the big time rejection. He's making a statement defensively, Zar. That was quite a block. What's it for? Check the clock. Up with the prayer. It doesn't go. He had to get rid of it. Fox forced his man into a difficult three by getting in front of him. His defensive positioning was very strong on that play. Hook shots good. Sends it away. He takes it inside. Kobe Bryant putting it down. Marvin still as spectacular as he was when he won the dunk competition way back in 97. Hard to believe he's a seasoned veteran already at his age. Left side. What a move. Quentin Richardson. The defensive pressure needs to improve. It shouldn't be that easy for the other team to drive inside and score. O'Neal backs him down. Able to finish from inside. They're doing a great job of finishing on the offensive end. Right, Czar. The other team needs to find a way to slow them down. Bryant swats it away. Nobody able to come up with that loose ball. Can't get it to drop. Gathered in by Fox. Kobe Bryant with the emphatic dunk. Yarrick bringing it up court. He got a piece of that pass. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. Down to three. Putting up the prayer. Misfires from three. They need to focus on getting the ball to their star players and giving them room to maneuver. Bryant is met by Yarich. It's good from downtown. Bryant with the helper. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Bram being played by Peyton. Only five left on the shot. Oh, rejected. O'Neal is a heads-up play by Maggetti. Maggetti picked up by Bryant. Five on the shot clock. Down to three. Yarrick forced into the rush shot by Bryant. 
Bryant playing some standout defense there. He knew the shot clock was ticking down, and he didn't let him get a good look, forcing the missed shot. The Lakers at the limit. Guarded by Peyton. Nicely done by Peyton. The Lakers quickly back the other way. Hits the close one. That's a 9-0 run for the Lakers. That's his first personal. Let's it go from the perimeter. The three doesn't go. 14 left to play in the quarter. Brand made a nice move and drew the foul from his man. He's a difficult player to contain off the dribble. It's good. Brand gets them both. For three. For three. The assist to. So at the end of the first quarter, the Lakers lead by 14. They've been effective today at both ends of the court. Their opponent needs to make some defensive adjustments heading into the second quarter. Here's Brand. Puts it in from close range. He shoots. The Lakers lead by 14. McGinney working from the middle. Almost stolen. The Lakers need to have a defender on the ball at all times. The other team will have no problem knocking down shots if they're left open. Bryant, played by McGetty. McGetty returns it to him. He knew exactly with the penetration. The shot erased by Bryant. He read the other player perfectly and got the rejection. That was a spectacular defensive play. Here's Brand. The Lakers have been the better team on the boards today. It's no surprise they lead this game. Malone is met by Yarich. He's going to look to take advantage of this matchup. He knows his defender can't guard him. Good move by Peyton. From the low block, Peyton is fouled on the shot, and he is sent to the line. Makes the first. He's got shooter. Keep him off. Peyton sinks them both. That's team foul number one on the Lakers. That's his third person. Yarick sinks it from the line. Into the game for Los Angeles, number 14. Peyton being played by Yarick. He elevates, hits the two. Peyton answers at the other end. Going five up. Backs him down. Brand defended by Medvedenko. He challenged the shot and made things difficult for the offensive player. Yarick steals the pass. They've done a much better job of taking care of the ball today. They've made fewer mistakes and look more confident handling the ball to their opponent. From the perimeter, hits it for three. O'Neal is showing us a great example of smart basketball. 
He knew the double team was coming, and he got rid of the ball before they took his passing options away. A nice assist that time. Count it for two. Bryant pulling up from the perimeter. Bryant is shooting 71% from the floor. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Richardson challenged by Fox. Miss fires from three. The Lakers are doing what a play. What a defensive play. A spectacular stop that time by Brand. Yarrick at the basket. Another one no good. Well, they continue to dominate the defensive glass. This aspect of the game has been very solid today. Bryant with the interception. Payton taking a look from the right side. Last touch by the Clippers. Peyton rises from the perimeter. Off the mark from downtown. Yarich picked up by Peyton. Maggetti releasing. No good. Bryant didn't get the block, but bothered him enough to cause the miss. The score is 31 to 16. The Lakers have managed to build up a sizable lead. Right now, they have better execution on the offensive end, and they're playing with a higher level of confidence. Yes! If they wanted to, they could use the differential to their advantage and get a two-for-one deal out of it. Brings it up court. Fox is setting it up. He commits his first. Yarich saves the loose ball. Bram covered by Medvedenko. Maggetti contested by Fox. Bram with the find. Clock shows 11 seconds. Fox working from the middle. Five seconds left in the quarter. He puts one up. Jumpers off the mark. That's the end of quarter number two. The Lakers lead by 11. The other team is offering very little resistance, making it easy to maintain the lead. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the second half. Rises up, it doesn't drop for him. He got hit on that play, made the adjustment to get it off, and it just did not fall. The Lakers have managed to protect the lead, but will have to continue the strong play down the stretch. That's right, Marv. Despite the large lead, this game is far from over. Here's Fox. He hits his third from beyond the arc. Fox able to hit even with a hand in his face. Puts it down with power. Corey Maggetti. Sets it up. Fox is met by Maggetti. The layup doesn't go. Clock is down to five. alley -oop. what a look. Elton Brand. Setting it up, 
Peyton being played by Watson. That's not a matchup that works in the defense's favor. He's got a lot of weapons on offense, and he'll make the defense pay if they don't help out on him. Peyton from outside. He misses another from downtown. Yarich made that a difficult shot from outside. He did a nice job of challenging the shooter. Yo, what's coming? Pass the rock, yo. Go, go, go. Over here, man. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. Four. Get over. Five left. Come on. Maggetti bothered by Bryant. The three-pointer is good. Because the Lakers are playing with less confidence but continue to lead. It'll be interesting to see which team is ahead at the end of the game. With the jumper, it doesn't go. Yarick sets it up near the middle. Brand defended by Medvedenko. The one-time number one draft pick out of Duke able to score down low. Brand is surprisingly agile for his size and can go around bigger defenders. Against smaller forwards, he can use his physicalness to overpower them. Fox from point blank range. It drops. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Yarich with the ball. Can't get the three from downtown. What a move! Kobe Bryant! Yara bringing it up court. Brand played by Medvedenko. Misses the mark on the hook. Fox from up close. Payton with another assist. assist. Gary Payton, the Bay Area native, setting him up for the bucket. Marv, Gary Payton's passing has gotten better and better, and his stats are consistently near the top for total assists and the assist to turnover categories. Five on the shot clock. The shot can't get it to go. He had to rush it. Peyton and the shot clock, both forcing him into a low percentage shot that time. The Lakers remain in control of this game and have been the superior team at both ends of the court. We have about 40 seconds left to play in this quarter. The near steal. Out of Richardson called for stepping out of bounds. Ryan is charged with the offensive, and that'll be his second personal. The shot clock is off. He sets up on the right. 14 seconds showing on the clock. Richardson, unguarded, can't hit from downtown. They've continued their reluctance to give out any second chance opportunities. They've kept up their effort to chase down every defensive rebound, Mark. And here we have the end of the third quarter. The Lakers lead by 12. This is a close one with only one quarter left to play. It should be an exciting finish. Guarded by Maggetti. That's a definite mismatch when you compare his offensive ability to his man's ability to defend. That's the rejection. Well, there was quite a defensive statement by Yarich. Brand with the notion to fire. Jumper doesn't go. They've dominated the board so far. Rebounding has been a major factor today. Can't hit for two. You know, part of playing good team basketball is getting back down the floor to protect your basket. Advances up court. He makes it up. O'Neal got the pass down low and gets a nice job of completing the basket. Gary 
Eli, picked up by O'Neal. Foxes sends it back. That was an outstanding block, Marv. He definitely has his moments on defense. Here's Malone, missed another. Eli has done an outstanding job on the defensive board. He's been very active so far in this game. Eli is charged with the offensive and that'll be his second personal. Brings it up court. Yarich with a nice block. Four. Right, right, right. Come on, he it. elevates, can't hit from the paint. Yarich from in close gets two from in close. Setting it up. Peyton with a jump shot, can't get it to drop from inside. Forces the adjustment. Denied by Maggetti. Peyton's being played by Maggetti. He knows his man is outmatched on defense. He's going to look to score on him. Team foul defense number one picked up by the Clippers. Marco That's his first person. Team foul number one. The three's good from downtown. Three. The Lakers continue to move the ball and look for open threes. They've been the more accurate team today from three-point territory. Maggetti challenged by Bryant. Hits the three. Out of bounds on the loose ball. Yarich advances the ball. Comes up with two. Sets it up. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Nobody able to come up with that loose ball. Yarich lets it go from the perimeter. It is no good from downtown. The intentional foul committed by Yarich. McGinney intentional foul. Defensive foul to number 50. Bryant hits his first. See your man. The Lakers have the momentum and are ready to put this team away. Defensive foul. McGinney is fouled on the shot and he'll head to the line for the three free throws. He gets it to fall. It's good. Yarich intentional and uses his third personal. That's his third Peyton personal. able to hit from the line. Shoot, man. Box him out. Two for two. fires from three. They need to use up the clock. Only a major collapse will keep them from winning this game. The Lakers are in complete command of this game and have killed the other team at both ends of the court. He makes them both. Eli 
Defended by O'Neal. Here's Brand. He gets another to drop. He is shooting under 50% from the field. Eleven seconds left of the game. Malone takes it inside. The loose ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Lakers. Out of bounds on the loose ball. Los Angeles ball. This one's finished. The Lakers have won it. The final score is 56 to 47. They got the lead on the double digits, but time ran out on their hopes for a comeback. EA Sports. Here is tonight's player of the game. I got lots of love for my 